You're listening to Shoe In, covering the ins and outs of all things footwear, from sneakers to heels, loafers to slippers, and every type of shoe in between. Brought to you by the FDRA, the Footwear Industries Association focused on retail, trade, politics, and fashion. Helping create and enhance conversations on all things footwear. And now your footwear insiders, Matt Priest and Andy Holt. We are currently perched above FN Platform's floor. Yeah, it's like the footwear kingdom. I can actually see down into all the different pockets and all the different booths. Yep. If I had uh, rotten tomatoes, I'd throw them down there. Rotten tomatoes? <laughs> the, the movie website aggregator? Exactly. <laughs> uh, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, but as we look down, you know, there's a lot of new brands showing. A lot of people coming in and out, yep. um, and uh, one thing that we always like to do at these shows is send Jasmine out and uh, interview a few people at booths that she walks around and finds some interesting samples. They're or, way more likely to talk to her than us. Absolutely. And um, we had to add a correspond- new correspondent, Kim, who will also... That's right went out and did interviews. So Jasmine and Kim can just well, take over from us. They can us. take it over We're from done. us and we can just leave. We're no out. one wants to hear us anyway. No. Plus, uh, you know, Jasmine, you can introduce Kim and, and how she's tied in to shoe and show. Do you like that tie in? Nice. Laces up. Uh-huh. Uh, sorry, ladies. Take it from here. We're out. We're gone. Peace. Literally leaving. <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs> so I had the pleasure of going with Kim on the FM platform showroom floor, and we stopped by the Sorrel um, booth. And Kim, what do you have on your feet today? <laughs> okay. <laughs> you all must know I am wearing Sorrels. Yes. And I, I, I've received no money from Sorrel. Let me make a full... <laughs> Uh, disclosure right here, but these are probably one of the most comfortable pairs of shoes yes. I've ever just thrown on my feet and hoofed it all day. Um, so you'll hear and more about And there are a pair of wedges that um, you can walk around in. So they're mm-hmm. a little bit, um, would you say about three, three inch heels? That's a good three inch yeah. on the wedge. And, and you're walking just fine. <laughs> no pain. <laughs> <laughs> Not at all. Not at all. So let's go into our conversation with Sorrel. And we are with Taylor with Sorrel, and he's going to talk about a little bit about what they have on the showroom floor at FM Platform. Um, Taylor, can you tell people who are not familiar with how trade shows work, the shoes that we're seeing now, they're samples for what season? Uh, we're wrapping up our selling for Spring 19, so we're really excited, obviously, as the Sorrel brand to be showing off um, this amazing collection. And um, we've really started to rotate our brand over the last several seasons, so this is a great platform for us to really kind of showcase where the direction of the brand's going. Okay, and what's that? Like, I would, um, and when you say, I know that I've started to see, like, sneakers from Sorrel, and I hadn't seen that before. So what kind of new things are you doing? Well, we've really kind of, obviously, we play off our heritage as a winter brand, and we've had a lot of success with that and really became known for our fashion through that lens. Um, but as we rotate our brand and our product assortment, you can really see us go into a more lifestyle and 365-day-a-year brand. Um, we're shifting into uh, to some really great product that's trend right and lifestyle appropriate for all of our consumers. All right. So what do you feel like is doing, you know, outside of like that winter shoe? What do you feel like is doing really well? Is it a sandal or? Yeah, I mean, I think it's our lifestyle product in general. And in okay. spring, we obviously have a great sandal program developing. But really, it's around that shift and taking that functional functional aspect of our product and bringing it into different seasons through different lenses where you might normally find uh, warmth as a differentiator. Uh, we, we're bringing comfort and traction and, and great product that way. Cool. And I know these are like all samples, but um, about, uh, like, does all this go into production? Yeah, or no, we've actually really curated this line down, and we're really, really happy with what we have here, and we're building on the success uh, that we had in Spring 18 across many channels of distribution, um, and we've really kind of brought the best of the best and added on to it, so we're really excited. And Kim has a pair of Sorrells on oh now. <laughs> I, I have to say, and I'm not being, let me just say I'm not being paid by <laughs> Sorrell or you good folks, but... These are the most comfortable shoes I've ever put on and just walked all day in. And I was amazed because they, as you can see, well, no one can see right here, but, and I would lift my leg up real high, but, but I'm going to guess that's about a three inch heel, uh, right? So can you walk all day in a three inch heel? I'm here to say, 
yes you can <laughs> and they feel like sneakers so I don't know what you've done or who which witches are <laughs> well I can't employed. personally attest to the all-day comfort but I hear it quite frequently so thank you for yeah. uh, for giving us a great plug yeah. there um, I mean really we brought our functional aspect through a different lens and wearability and comfort is just as important in a functional uh, product as, as, as warmth or waterproof and that's really the lens we've taken with this product and, and I would say if anyone could only hear the audio and they were they had no visuals in here they might think that we were talking about that some something that's pretty rustic looking mm -hmm. we're talking about winter shoes we're talking about bringing comfort in and someone might say if they could only listen what do these shoes look like and they might be surprised to see that they are actually so modern looking and yeah. so really funky but they could be you know on the street or in the office yeah. right so I've worn them to the office every time I wear them I receive compliments well that's so, great yeah. I, I will say when I travel with the team we get stopped constantly and as, as a matter of fact we actually just had a couple of customers in from um, Nanaimo British Columbia who saw someone wearing Sorrel at the show and actually came into the booth to, to really kind of research it and yeah. potentially open up. Yeah. So uh, yeah. it's it's really about the awareness and the shift of our brand. We're really excited about the success we've had so far. So, so with the shift of your brand, I, I'm not sure if you've seen more success in the beginning in your stores versus online, but with it becoming more lifestyle every day, do you see yeah. more it doing better online than in stores? or? Well, I mean, I think online is obviously such a big presence now in terms of how people go to market. You get a broader reach and people can see your product in more real time, uh, that buy now, wear now, and as product launches. And obviously through social media, we had a great campaign kick off our season with Leah Meets Joan. We got a tremendous response on that. But now that we've got the product hitting the stores, you know, a couple of weeks later, we're seeing great sell through success on, at brick and mortar. So I think once she gets a chance to try it on, she experiences what you have and really comes to life and translates through sell through. Cool. And as far as um, your experiencing your experiences at the trade shows, like um, where where are you guys based at? We're based out of Portland, Oregon, okay. and we really have focused on this show as, as a key show for us. So, so it, it's, it's beneficial for you to come here and kind of meet with people or being in Portland, is that still like beneficial as well? Like, are you able to meet with retailers and things like yeah, that? Yeah, we definitely have people come into our office um, and we meet there. We have showroom in New York as well and, um, and in, uh, in Kent, just outside of Seattle. Okay. Um, so we use trade shows as a great way to kind of get together on some of our independents. Um, get access to create awareness to some people that don't know us for this, um, which is great. Um, but trade shows have been part of our strategy for sure. Well, it's fantastic. <laughs> I, I, I do, I'm curious, um, because you're from Portland and, yep. and that's sort of starting out with the cold weather kind of footwear. Um, would you say West Coast, East Coast sales in the oh U.S.? My which which um, is... Uh, yeah, so uh, obviously an amazing uh, history grounded in more of our winter utility. Uh, so we have great penetration from the Midwest right over to the to the to the Northeast, but uh, phenomenal awareness creation in the Southern Tier and in California now with our sandal and more diversified product. We're really seeing that come on, and yeah. with the online sales, you can really start to see where things are coming from. And I think that. Um, I think we're at that point where you'll start to see you'll start to see it spread out much more evenly. Right. I'm gonna guess that the online is to, is increasing it's the way all to go. the time. Yeah, yeah. I mean, because it's made it you made the brand so much broader, and then the online makes it so much broader. So yeah, yeah you can take over. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, it's you know, I mean, traditionally with the brick and mortar, you really had to get the product in front of people. If if you didn't have this amazing awareness um, of of what you're doing for a season, even. Um, you know, if you don't see it, you don't know about it. And so online has given us an incredible reach, uh, as both commercially as also as well as through social. Um, so that's been a great way for us to really kind of get exposure out on the brand. Yeah. Great. Thanks so much. Well, can you tell the people where they can find a pair of these fabulous Sorrells at? Oh, my goodness. We have so many retailers. It's <laughs> tough to, to list it. But uh, any major department store, a key independent, hopefully uh, is supporting us. And if not, please come to our booth. And, <laughs> yeah. and what's the website they can go to? Uh, Sorrel.com. Okay. Great. Easy Thank you so easy. much, Taylor. Thank you, <laughs> Thank you Taylor.
Now, Sorrel is one of my favorite brands to stop by because ever since I've been coming to FN Platform, I always stop by there and I've seen them grow. So it was it was interesting, you know, hearing him say like how much they're shifting and I can see it from my own eyes. So it was really an interesting, you know, interview being able to talk with him. Oh, great. Yeah. I didn't even know that portion of it. But, yeah. <laughs> you know, for me, I'm just a fan personally right. of the shoes. And But it's true. You're always thinking about them having winter boots, right. or the big fur top, right. um, sub-zero temperatures, but not about more yeah. the lifestyle. And, and then because they're, you know, under partnered with Columbia, you think, you know, you just automatically think winter. But, no, they have great sandals, great sneakers now, too. So it's really cool. And comfortable. So I yes. feel like that's where everybody's headed. It can't just be a pretty right. shoe anymore. Right. It has to be comfortable. Yeah, or we don't want it. Forget about it. Yep. <laughs> so uh, as my stand-in, you kind of did a little of interviews on your own. Yeah, so Jasmine's in high demand. Yes. So, she, uh, so I cruised the floor to check out some brands that I'm familiar with myself, but okay. also thinking in terms of that. Um, it's got to look good, mm -hmm. but it has to feel good. And sometimes okay. you need something a little dressier, right? So I turned to a, a brand of shoe that I actually wore two years ago for the White House Correspondence Dinner. Oh, very cool. Okay. I had the chance to go. Yeah, and it was very cool. But I was thinking even advance, I, in advance <laughs> of the dinner, I thought, my feet are going to be killing me, <laughs> right? And then someone, uh, one of my colleagues, said, you got to check out these Sasha London shoes. Oh, wow. Okay, so cool. I looked online, I grabbed a pair, and now I'm hooked because I went all night with these shoes. It's exactly what I told them, and uh, you can hear wow. the exchange I had with the designer, Albert. Yeah, let's hear it. Sasha London, one of my very favorite brands. I'm uh, Albert Benchmull. From uh, New York, I take care of uh, putting the line together and um, coming up with concepts and kind of listening to our consumers and trying to make the reality into our shoe line. Fantastic. So, uh, obviously, at FN Platform, everyone's showcasing the latest, the greatest, what's hot, what's up and coming. Tell us a little bit about the new collections and new trends. Uh, well, Sasha, we're... We're known for having lots of colors and lots of ornamentation in our shoes, so definitely, as, as you can see, we've really kind of beefed it up this season with um, our rose gold ornamentation is kind of seen throughout the whole line. Uh, we do lots of heel embellishments uh, to kind of spruce up the shoes as well. Um, we do lots of little different textile materials around our wraps, uh, wedge wraps, heel wraps. We have some shoes up here that you can see where you can get the shoe with a, a silk tie or without the silk tie, which really comes in, so it gives you basically two shoes for one at retail. And you all are, are faithful audience here and uh, members listening, fans. I know you can't see what we're seeing, but I urge you to go online and check out the new shoes because the, the tie-on uh, silk scarf looks fantastic. I can attest to this. Um, and I would say, what we were just talking about this as well, that um, it's all women's shoes for now, but any chance to go back to a men's collection? Uh, yeah, we're, we're always looking to create new collections. Uh, we've actually just started a new collection. It's called Sophie Laurent. Um, it's a little bit of a lower price point than Sasha, but still bringing in uh, comfort and fashion together. Uh, one of the things that we're trying to do in Sasha is uh, maybe obtain some of that younger generation that's coming up that's going to appreciate fashion and comfort. And with Sophie Laurent, we're doing that with a price point. Excellent. So reaching a whole new uh, demographic, a new market, and things like that. And I will. And you spoke about comfort. It seems that is the big trend is uh, things have to look good, but they have to feel good. So I would say, I, I will tell a little personal story here is that uh, I had the opportunity a couple of years back, um, and I've had it more than once, uh, but to attend the White House Correspondence Dinner in Washington, D.C. And uh, when that happened to me in years past, I was in so much pain by the end of the night from wearing high heels, I just couldn't party all night with yeah. everybody. Well, someone, a colleague, told me about Sasha London, and your shoes saved me that night. I could have, I could have, 
danced all night, as they say. I could have gone until the next day with those shoes because they were so comfortable and super fashionable. So that's my pitch about that. And I know you still make that kind of shoe. Yeah. Uh, it was more the the dressier style with the ankle strap. We definitely, uh, we definitely actually get that quite a bit where we get feedback from consumers coming back to us telling us that they were impressed when they went to a wedding or they went to something and they've had their shoes on all night and that their feet feel great. Um, we do a lot of memory foam in all our insoles and uh, even designing the shoes we always consider problem areas and making sure that the shoes always are comfortable and there's no awkward straps or awkward fitting shoes. Well, yes, I can attest to that. It was super comfortable from the get-go, but at the same time, again, can even go black tie, which is fantastic. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely we try to reach a little bit from your casual to dressy evening wear. Excellent. Well, it's wonderful. I would say, uh, where can people find your shoes? I mean, and they're probably in a lot of different places, but where's kind of the places that uh, you see a wider collection or it's the easiest place where people see to, to see a lot of the shoes and can purchase them right away? Yeah, uh, well, we do have our own online store, we, which we launched last year, um, but we are a boutique brand. So lots of boutiques carry um, Sashlin and clothing boutiques as uh, Sashlin is almost their accessory to their clothing because of the colors and the availability of, and also being different from what's traditionally on, on uh, Main Street Market. Uh, we're not in any majors yet. Uh, we're still trying to keep it uh, kind of wholesome into brick and mortar um, and just independent shops. Uh, but I mean, online and going through some stores, there's a store in um, Alabama called Jane Loves Shoes. She carries a huge, she's probably one of our, our largest uh, collection, like she, she carries our, almost 80% of her collection in her store. Yeah, she does very, very well with her. That's shoes. amazing. and <laughs> Yeah. And you could actually purchase them from her oh, shop yeah, you can online. Go try them on. She has online, but that's it's probably the best place where you can go try on the shoes and, and see how they feel. Yeah, definitely. Fantastic. Well, this is great. I appreciate you taking a few moments. Um, anything else that you'd like to add? I, well, I see the Spanish flag here. I'd uh, be curious to know, are you making all of your shoes in Spain? or? Uh, well, the heritage of the company comes from Spain. Uh, we do make most of our shoes in Asia right now. We still have a, a Spanish uh, counterpart where our head office is in Spain. So shoes are designed, materials are sourced in Spain, uh, but 80% of the collection is still uh, now made in Asia. Makes sense, right? Yeah, we, we're trying to bring still that affordability to the consumer. So the best quality product, but at the best price we can, you know, we can give it out. Great. Well, thank you so much. It's been wonderful talking with Alberto here at Sasha London, FN Platform, and uh, thanks for listening on the Shoe In Show. That was great. <laughs> Who would have known that you would have met the designer out of all people, right? No, and I was expecting, I was like, this show's amazing, because yeah. I was thinking that the people here would be on the communications team right. or, or sales um, and maybe product development or marketing yep. or something in that angle but the actual designer and I said well so you have a hand in design these shoes like, yeah, designer. right I make so the shoes cool. I design them all <laughs> so cool wow. right <laughs> right anytime you get to meet like a designer or like a CEO here it's like very very cool and just friendly down yeah. to earth people very too, rare you know so you mm -hmm. really have this vision of people just kind of putting together a product and something functional that they love. Right, yeah. Piece so of art, wearable art. Once you were done over there, who else did you stop by? I think you had one yes. more opportunity to talk to so someone. So I also swung by Ms. Moose because oh, I great. knew that they'd been guests on the show in the yes. past. Mm -hmm. By I, recommendation of you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I can only recommend them because I love shoes also yeah. so it's another brand that I I think looks good I can wear it to the office I can wear it out to yeah. dinner um, it feels good all day uh, so that's I, I see them right there I'm right. gonna <laughs> catch this woman and chat with her and okay it was fantastic. well let's see what's new with Ms. Moose I'm talking to Cheryl from Ms. Moose hi hi welcome thanks for coming 
very exciting. So uh, full disclosure here, Ms. Moos is one of my personal favorite brands, and I wear them out and get them resold every fall. And it might be time to get something new, but I see there are a lot of new options out here. So just wondering what's hot, what's working right now? Sure. So this collection we're showing right now is Spring 19, and we're super excited about all of the new leathers and the new colors. Um, we are doing bright colors, we're doing pastels, we're doing a lot of metallics, um, just to really, really freshen it up. And it's so exciting to see, you know, everyone's sick of black and brown, black and brown everywhere. I love to see the blues and the greens and the pinks and all these like real poppy colors. This is working on me because yes, the ones I have, I, they, they're black, right? Yeah. And they work yeah. well with everything, mm -hmm. but sometimes now you can say, okay, you know what? Well, the fire engine red will work with almost anything too yeah. and, and it'll look a little more exciting, yeah. right? Absolutely. There's really no such thing as a neutral anymore. I think anything could be a neutral. I mean, I think this gold color here, that could be a neutral. Wear it with your jeans, wear it with a black dress, wear it anywhere. I agree with you. No, and it, and even the blues or greens are having that a contrast, right? Yes, yes. I love a contrast. I'm also, I mean, you can't see, but today I'm wearing lots of color and pattern, so I love to bring that into the shoes, too. And it shows. So is that something that where are these shoes designed? So we are based in New York, and then we have a design office in Verona, Italy, too. So we get this very sort of Euro-centric kind of look, um, a little a little fashion forward. Um, but because they're both big cities and walking cities, they're all very comfortable, and we are able to put them on in the morning, wear them all day, go to work, go to dinner afterwards, and come home, and you're still comfortable. Agreed. <laughs> Agreed. You this seems to, for that, right? Yeah, absolutely. And this seems to be the trend because even if you are you're going to the office or if you're going out um, to dinner, things like this, you want to look sharp and put right. together, right. but you absolutely need to be comfortable. It seems yeah. to be the must have feature these days. Right. You don't have to suffer for fashion anymore. That's, you know, that's very, that's done. The been there, done that. And now we just want to look really good and we want to feel really good too. And that's what Ms. Moose is going to give you. So is, would you say that that's something that's been with this brand since its inception or yeah. is it something that's becoming even more of a trend? Are you finding that you're doing lower heels because of it? Not necessarily lower heels, but we're doing thicker heels. We're doing um, uh, like lots of big, wide, chunky heels so that you're still going to have a lot of surface area where your, your shoe is touching the ground. Um, but we've always, from the, from the start of the brand, it's always been this idea that you can look cute and still be comfortable. So that's sort of carried with us our entire, our entire lifespan. Fantastic. No, I'm loving it. It's working well. I see it looks to me like, well, no one can see me looking around here, but uh, I see all women's shoes. So are any plans for men's or are, is there a men's line somewhere? There is not a men's line and there's no plan for one. Um, we're going to stick with what we do best, <laughs> which is for the women. Yeah. I think some of yeah. these could go both ways, right? There's yeah, absolutely. <laughs> you know, and especially some of our sneakers definitely have a unisex appeal to them. Um, but right now, it's just for women. What do you think, um, how are, how is it looking online versus brick and mortar stores? Well, we do a lot of business online, but I think that people are still finding our shoes. People are seeing Ms. Moos for the first time in our brick and mortar stores. They're going to the, the smaller retailers and discovering this brand and trying it on and, and falling in love with it, um, you know, which you don't get that. You can see the photos online, but you don't get to touch the shoes and hold the shoes and try them on. You don't, you're not getting like that feeling and that joy of wearing the shoes just in a picture online. Absolutely. That said, I will admit uh, my, that first pair for me, yeah. I did purchase online oh. at, I would say, perhaps America's largest online retailer. Just okay. happened to come across yeah. them. And uh, but now, you know, once you you're in tune, you see something, mm -hmm. you start to see it everywhere. Yeah. So I do yeah. see more and more of them. Right. And it's great yeah. to see. Yeah. So yeah. anything We're else happy with it? Um, no, go go buy shoes, everybody. <laughs> Buy shoes, and can we get them directly from your own website as well? Yes. Yeah, so we're online. It's ms-moves.com. That's where you're going to find the widest selection, um, the most sizes. That's where the bulk of it lives. Yeah. 
Fantastic. Well, thanks so much for your time. Thanks for listening to Shoe In Show and to this interview. And uh, see you next time at FN Platform. Bye bye. Bye. Great interview. Did you feel like you have like more of a connection with the brand since you were already familiar with them and now you got to talk to them? Me? Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, and I'm trying not to be too starstruck right. when I meet these people. I was like, I love your shoes. Right. I love your shoes. And, you know, I, I don't want to be like a super fan girl, but I, I do. Yeah, I, but the samples are all out. It's like a field day. It's like you can't help it. It's, it's, your, it's literally your dream. If anybody ever um, gets an opportunity to go to a trade show, you will know the feeling when you first go you want everything you can't purchase anything but you want it all <laughs> mm -hmm. beautiful every every turn right gorgeous stuff yes well another successful fm platform um thank you guys for listening to all of our interviews uh check us out at shoeinshow.com and shoein show is out shoein has been brought to you by the fdra the Footwear Industries Association focused on retail, trade, politics, and fashion, helping create and enhance conversations on all things footwear. For information about FDRA, visit FDRA.org.